What's up, YouTube? It is your girl, Ayana, AKA the Crafty Notary, back with another video. Your girl now wears glasses, like officially, officially wear glasses. You see me with glasses, usually they're clear frames, but now your girl has true prescription, progressive glasses, okay? So don't give me too much flack. I know they're a little big, but we'll get used to them. So as you can see by the title of this video, I have come upon a workaround for all of us notaries who use Navy Federal Credit Union and get paid by companies like the Closing Exchange, Notary Go, Loan Closers, who all use the E-Deluxe um, checking system. Now, if you're not familiar with that, these companies use an electronic check system. So when it's time for you to get paid, you'll get an email, you log into the Deluxe, ac Deluxe account, and it's the same ac account across all platforms, which is good because all of your checks are there. And then it gives you the option to either instant deposit your funds for a fee, um, you can do a, a a little bit of a longer stretch for direct deposit into your account for a fee, but the minimum on that is $5. That fee is at least $5 based upon the amount of the check. But you have the option to print out an e-check on regular white paper like a real check. And most banks do accept that check. Navy Federal does not. <laughs> and so... You may be one of the Navy Federal members who are currently getting checks through. I was one of them for several months. Um, and then all of a sudden it stopped. They stopped getting approved. And so what I was told by Navy Federal is that it's a manual process that they go through when they approve these checks and it takes some time before it actually catches up to you. So if you're getting them through, great. If not, I found a workaround. So recently I um, decided I needed to print a check to send to the IRS. Now my LLC is not just for my notary business. It also houses and we run my husband's side business through our LLC as well. And so that income is considerably larger than my income because I'm part-time. Well, he is too, in a sense. Um, but we needed to, I needed to print a check in order to mail to the IRS. I did not have any business checks. The payment was already late because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. QuickBooks told me I needed to write a check to the IRS for this amount. And I did not have any checks <clears throat> for my business account. So... I ran out to Office Depot and purchased this. These are business checks and voucher refillers. So basically they're blank checks and it comes 525 checks in, a, um, in one box and the box was $29.99, right? Not bad if you have the check printing capability, which I do. So this is how the checks look. I'm gonna show you one. This is how they look. So these are the ones that print the check here and this is just like they print the stub or whatever, you know, on the bottom. And then you just fold it and tear the check off. And they also come like where you can print three checks on one page, but I don't print checks very often. And so I did not find the need to have three on one page, I feel like it, I will be wasting it trying to align it with my printer. And another reason why I opted for this, this instead of buying checks for my account was because I know that I'm moving in a year. And if I buy checks with this address on, on there, then I'm gonna need to replace those checks and then waste, throw those away and waste money buying more once we get to where we're going. <laughs> so this is a great option because it doesn't matter what address I have, it prints whatever I tell QuickBooks to print. So in the midst of me printing the check and getting it out to the IRS, I got paid from one of the companies that use deluxe checks. And I thought, hmm, what would happen if I printed that check 
onto an actual check paper. Would Navy Federal actually approve the check? Lo and behold, they did. And I wanted to make sure it worked before I brought it to you guys. And I'm hoping they don't see this video and decide we ain't taking that check either. But if they do, I'm going to another bank. I'm just gonna tell you that now <laughs> because I've already, I was already on the verge of finding a new bank just because of this one issue. I don't like paying bank fees. It was one of the reasons why I went with them. And I don't like paying the $5 every time that I get a check. I just don't. Um, and so I found this workaround and it actually works. So this is how the check looks and I'm gonna cover up their numbers on the bottom. So once I printed it out, this is how it looks, all right? And then I just signed the back like a regular check. Click, click with my phone like a mobile deposit. Boom, it was approved immediately. The first one that I did a couple days ago took a while to get approved, but this check actually went through very quickly. So I would say if you're gonna get six or more of these, that's $30, you can buy a box of $525, uh, 525 checks. And if you don't have QuickBooks, there are apps out there or there is um, web-based software out there that will help you, um, that you can use to write a check. One of them I think is called Check Writer. Um, that's actually, um, the one that I use inside of QuickBooks. And um, that's why, um, I, that's how I was able to print the check for the IRS. But they have, they are a standalone service. And so you can sign up and print checks for, um, I don't know. I don't know how, let me, let me see if I type it up real quick, if, it, if I can tell you the price. It's called Check Writer. Not check right, check writer. I'm trying to do this quickly because I don't want this video to be super duper long. It's called onlinecheckwriter.com. Onlinecheckwriter.com. And they have a pay as you go feature. So the pay as you go feature is unlimited number of checks, one, one bank account. And um, they they have the ability for you to have them mail it if you want. Um, yeah, you can do that for $1 per transaction. So even that is less expensive than paying $5 every single check if you can't get your check in through Navy Federal. I mean, the only other option is to change banks. And that's a hassle when you're already established, you're already set up, that can be a hassle. So for $49.99 a year, uh, you can do unlimited checks, physical mail, digital check, email. You can print unlimited amount of checks for $49.99 a year. So uh, what's that? $50 plus plus eight. that's 80. And let's see, we gotta do the math. 80 divided by five plus 75. 80. So was that 13 checks? 14 checks? Where's my math? 13. 13 checks. So I think that's right. <laughs> 13 checks. I'm going to check myself. Let's see. Calculator because I am very good at math actually, but not in my head. <laughs> so, oh, 16 checks. <laughs> I'm like 13 checks? 16 checks, that's right. Five and six is 30, three and one is eight. Um, what the heck did I just say? Five and three, yeah, five and three and eight. <laughs> yeah, three and one is three, five and three is eight. So yeah, there we go. So yes, 16 checks. So if you get 16 checks a year, which that's more than, well, it's about one a month a little bit more than one a month, which I think they kind of mail on a monthly basis. I don't know, this may not be for you, <laughs> but it definitely works for me. If you have QuickBooks, then you definitely can do it, take advantage of it. Um, 
and it works like a charm. I'm just telling you, you can do the do as you pay as you go, the one dollar as you as you go, and that way you don't pay for it fifty dollars. You just pay twelve dollars a year because it's only twelve dollars a month. Um, oh, but no, if you could get sixteen checks in a month because loan closers, notary go, closing exchange, they all use these, so you could get two or three of these in a month. So there we go. Anywho, I'm rambling. Here's the workaround. I found it. Um, you're welcome. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Peace.